Hello, my name is Jamie Comstock. I'm the Health Promotion Manager at the City of Bangor's Department of Health and Community Services. I am also here representing the main network of healthy communities, which is the statewide association representing comprehensive community health coalitions, <coughs> including those who are funded as the 27 local Healthy Maine Partnerships. Healthy Maine Partnerships work in all communities across Maine to develop local solutions to reduce and prevent the most costly and preventable chronic diseases, including substance abuse. Preventing youth substance use requires a comprehensive approach involving communities, schools, peers, and families. Parents and adults play a critical role in preventing youth substance use because we create the climate and the culture in communities where youth grow up. We know one of the most important pieces of prevention involves adults sending the right messages to youth by setting examples with their own behavior, setting the right rules, and holding youth accountable. So when adults talk about drug use or use a drug to excess, they are not only putting themselves at risk, they are putting our youth at risk by creating a culture that is acceptant of drug use and doesn't communicate the risks of use. It is absolutely critical that adults create and maintain rules, policies, and laws that restrict access to harmful drugs. If we don't, we are setting up our communities and our youth for lots of problems down the road. Take prescription drug misuse as an example. Over the past several years, there was a dramatic rise in the rates of prescribing of opiates by doctors to manage pain. Not all of these prescriptions were kept under lock and key or taken as directed until they were fully used up. This made abusable drugs um, accessible for diversion and misuse, and Maine is now coping with a huge problem of opioid dependence and opioid abuse. What is the lesson learned from Maine's experience with excessive prescribing of, opioid met of opiate medications? Whenever you make a drug more accessible, you will very likely see a spike in misuse, and with that, the consequences associated with misuse and abuse of that drug. Some proponents would say that legalizing drugs will make them less accessible to youth. They will also point to the revenue that could be generated by imposing taxes. But we know that the societal costs of already legalized substances of tobacco and alcohol cost our country $428 billion annually. This according to the White House Office of National Drug Control and Policy. We know that only a fraction of this cost is recouped in federal and state taxes. This from the National Institute on Drug Abuse. Expanding access to drugs and alcohol is not a good solution for Maine communities or for Maine's future.